Goat by Philippia. A great tune. I was asked to try playing it as a challenge. Um, so let me try and explain what I played. <laughs> I don't think I even played what I wanted to play exactly. So maybe I'll describe to you what I exactly wanted to play. Uh, let's do it slowly. So uh, first tray. Maybe let's have a click. There we go. First phrase, without the ornaments, goes like this. So I'll now put the ornaments in, and they're the same kind of ornaments every time this phrase reoccurs. So every top B you slide up to, um, and you slide usually from F sharp up to B, because that's what Tim Henson does on the guitar, he slides up. And uh, when this part appears, I usually do a little double cut. Um, and I think those are the two main ornaments that I use. So that first phrase with the ornaments is like this. So I slid up to the B both times. Second phrase has some harmonics in it on the guitar which come out staccato with shorter notes. So I try and play those notes shorter on the whistle too to mimic um, the guitar harmonics. So there we go, we've come down to the end of that phrase on a B flat, which is to half hold the second hole and, and hold down the first hole. I'll do that one more time, I'm not sure I got it clean the first time. So um, then the third phrase is the one with the fast flurry in it. Um, I don't think it really matters what you play too much as long as you get your top and bottom notes correct. Um, I'm not playing what Tim Henson plays. I'm just trying to land on the same bottom note and the same top note that he lands on. Uh, so I don't even think I get all these notes in in the uh, video, but I'll try to now. Uh, third, third phrase like this. So what I'm aiming to play there is um, six notes in one beat, starting on F sharp and landing on B flat. And then after that, to start on the low F sharp and land on the high F sharp, just sort of rounding up the scale, doesn't even really need to be even, um, and just clicking the G just before I land on my final high F sharp. Um, and actually the high F sharp is on the beat and the low F sharp is on the beat. So I'll do that right with the click right now. So um, let's see if I can get that, those two beats really slow. I actually find it quite difficult to slow it down. There we go. So it wasn't even even, but that was the phrase. Um, last phrase is, is the same as, as one we've seen before, except for at the end of it, Tim Henson does a dive bomb. So it's, it's the same as the second, second phrase, but he's a dive bomb with his tremolo arm. And I like to mimic that by landing on my B flat, which is where he does the dive bomb. And I'll straighten all my fingers and just roll in like this. <laughs> so the phrase is like this. Um, I'm not going to tutorial the, the second repetition because it's actually just so similar to the first. Um, uh, there's a couple of notes sort of slightly different, but you can probably listen to the video for that. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I haven't gone into lo loads and loads of detail, but I hope it's enough for you to get a version of it for yourself. Have a good time with your Polyphia covers band. I know I'm starting one. <laughs>